What's up, y'all? My name is Ashley. Welcome to my channel. So today is gonna be like really quick. I don't know if I'm gonna do this like a voiceover yet, or if I'm just gonna like go with the flow of things <laughs> because mm, I have to get ready for a meeting. I put on the Mario Badescu spray thingy, the rose water and everything else one. And I'm gonna let that dry real quick. Well, not even. Like, I pat it down so that it dries like a little faster because you ain't got time to just wait. So then after that, I'll be using the old, the Ole Henry Skin Truth Thingy Vitamin Banana Bright Face Primer. This one right here. Yeah. Uh, so, is it this one? Yeah, it's this one I'm use. So I'm gonna do that right quick. Rub it in between my three fingers. What's that movie? Hunger Games. Then I'm just gonna rub that in. This is like a quick get ready with me type thing. And um, I'm gonna do a video sooner or later where I, where's my foundation? Where I give me one second. So I forgot what I was saying, but I have another train of thought. I don't know if it's the same one or the one that I was trying to say. Um, basically, this is gonna be my rushing, like get ready makeup type thing. Um, however, in a video eventually that I want to post eventually, I'm gonna do like a. Not like an in-depth because I'm not like a makeup artist either to be explaining like, oh yeah, do this and this and then that and that. You know what I mean? But I'm going to be doing like uh, how I get ready when I have time. Like when I'm going to go to the club or something. Although I'm like usually in a rush to get there anyway. <laughs> but you know what I mean? I'm going to do one like where I do, you know, like when I have time to like beat this face. You know what I mean? I say that a lot. So if you guys are planning on being faithful watchers um get used to it because i say you know what i mean a lot um yeah so i use the um l'oreal pro matte infallible and 104 and then the estee lauder double wear because i'm a little darker i've been in the sun in the shade um ivory beige i'm just gonna mix all that fun stuff together we're blending and ooh. and then what i'm gonna do here I'm I'm just gonna blend, be, be, blend. Mm. So, I'm just gonna tell you guys a little bit about me because I feel like it's a little awkward that I'm just sitting here pounding on my face and not, you know, talking to you guys. I already like referred to the phone as like you guys as if I swear that I'm gonna have any watchers. Which I hope I do, but, you know, nothing, <laughs> nothing's too promising in my life right now. So, I'm just gonna, I don't know. I don't know what I should refer to the phone as, or to you guys. Because then I'm gonna feel, like, fucked up if you guys are watching, and then I'm just talking to you guys and calling you guys the phone. You know what I mean? Like, the fuck? <laughs> um, anyway, so, tell me a little bit about you guys, like... This is, I've been wanting to start a YouTube channel literally since I was like 12 years old. And I never like ever, ever got the courage to do so. So ironically, I wait till I'm what? 22 years old. Oh yeah, I'm 22 by the way. 22. Um, to finally like get on this YouTube game thing. And ironically enough, like YouTube has been like banging like everybody's you know everybody's creativity is just happening to come out or maybe everybody's finally building up the courage like I literally just did myself so ironically I wait till everybody wants to become a YouTuber to give it a go so that's fun um but yeah so being that I am like a like a newbie at all this stuff um obviously what do you guys look for like what what are you guys like hoping to see what do you guys get out of it my initial intent for this channel is to like do whatever the hell i want 
to do like whatever you know comes to mind so that includes like I'm really not creative so you won't see a lot of DIYs on my channel unless it's like a DIY cocktail um but yeah like what do you guys oh yeah so I'm planning on doing like DIYs like um I have a few people like in my family that I know would be down to like film with me so like prank stuff like um like oh you know how there's like this person does my makeup challenge and oh this person does this and all that kind of stuff I mean I know these challenges are already like super outdated like everybody and their mom already did them but things along the line like I I planning on doing like I'm really bad at explaining myself right now but you know what I mean I hope so if you get me subscribe because we just we just like latch clicked clicked is a better word um so yeah but with that being said you guys already i hope kind of had an, have an idea of what it is that i'm planning to do for this channel so with that being said like i'm open to you know i'm open to constructive criticism but i'm open to ideas like i'm open to opinions you know i'm doing i'm doing this channel because i've always wanted to and initially it was for makeup like i loved makeup since ever since i can remember like my mom story time my mom uh told me because i was like dude like i wonder why i like makeup because my mom is such a tomboy like she does not wear makeup like she only recently started wearing makeup because um because i made like i didn't make her but i'm like girl like makeup isn't like concealing yourself you know it's just enhancing the features that you really like of yourself so she's like okay yeah she bought it and um i have like a full-on makeup vanity so i have makeup for days and um i'm like girl like i'm sure i have a foundation that's your shade you know whatever you want it's it's yours just you know feel free don't don't let the fact that you don't have much makeup limit you to what you you know what you want to do so make yourself feel at home when you're around my vanity like don't even trip so she does it she wears makeup now but back then she like wore mascara and mascara only and that was like when she was trying to get ready so um so i was always like dude like i wonder where i get my you know my love for makeup from and she was just like i have no idea like my grandma didn't wear makeup my aunts don't really wear makeup oh fuck i forgot to correct i mean to, to freaking contour i'm gonna do that real quick this isn't what i would normally do i would not i would normally do this step before setting my under eye so anyways back to the story i was always like um where do uh where do i get this from and she would always be like dude i have no idea like you're just a little weird and i was like you know what you're probably right that's just something i'm gonna have to you know like live with the fact that you know i'm never gonna know where where i got my love for makeup from it didn't really bother me though like i still kept pursuing it i was always asking her to like take me to the drugstore because i needed you know this product and this person raved about this product so i need it now so i was that person but um what was i going with this <laughs> i always oh yeah so initially um so initially um i wanted my channel to be about makeup because oh i didn't even tell you the point so when I was little, she would have, okay, she would wear mascara on a good day and lipstick on a better day. So, you know, me being the little makeup fiend that I was at freaking like, what, eight years old, I already had the mentality of like, how does it go? The, you want to, you want to feel the, this, be the this? point being i would eat her fucking mac lipsticks back then mac was like the brand the like high-end brand to go to so she was always like she always had mac lipsticks you know in her you know in her collection of makeup you could say and um so i was like freaking six-year-old ashley you know just eating casually like chomping down on lipsticks i have no idea where i where i got the idea that that was normal because I see now that it's not, obviously. I'd be worried if I didn't. But, yeah. So, I have no idea why I thought that was normal. But that's, like, that was the first indicator that I was, like, a big, you know. 
I was gonna love makeup and yeah sure enough like as I grew up I was always like oh my god uh, I need a primer and she was always like what the fuck are you talking about like what even is that and then yeah so just things along the line I started becoming you know I was always really into makeup so initially when I was 12 I was like yeah who was big back then I used to watch Rico Loves Mac or something like that and I was I watched a few YouTubers I was so like into YouTube that you know my mom was a social worker back then so when I would go to work with her and it was like her office day or whatever like I would go in in, in office and I would um I would sit like on a computer desk and I would just like write down I would look for like youtubers like makeup youtubers and I would write down the name of every single youtuber that I that I you know really really loved so I'm sure I have the list somewhere but I have no idea where it's at now and um um, but one of the ones that I can remember like right off the top of my head is Rico Loves Mac and I thought she was so pretty I literally like I was such a big fan of her that I was such a big fan of her that um, she did like a few certain looks with makeup eyeshadows and I literally went out like me having no money you know but my mom obviously hooked it up like I would go out to Mac fucking like a 12 year old little girl that I was 13 at this point I think and um and she was like what are you doing here like what do you need and they'd be like i need a few eyeshadows that i need for this look and of course that was you know she spoiled me so she was like okay and i'm sure she thought that she was probably going to use them herself because i was very much the person to also be like i need this i need it like i can't go without it and then forget that i had it and completely like just forget about it so so i'm sure that she probably thought she was gonna get you know the makeup out of it but i still have those eyeshadows to this day it was like romp and pretty and pink or exp expensive pink something like that and it was a few other ones that i can't remember but anyways so i um so i was really like into makeup and i initially wanted my 13 my 13 my 12 or 13 i don't remember you guys i don't have like the best memory anyways so my 12 or 13 year old self initially wanted to create um a, a makeup you know a makeup channel but 22 year old me that waited you know for you to, to completely explode to do this um sees that there's not a lot of potential there because honestly like and it's an amazing thing i i see it as an amazing thing that everybody now like there's so like anything that you could possibly want to find in makeup it's already out there like it's already somebody has already done a video on something so so you know that's an awesome thing but for me you know not being a makeup artist like, how am I going to look recreating a smokey eye? Like, of course, I'll show you guys my version of a smokey eye if you guys ever want to see it. But it's not going to look like, you know, these other people that actually know what they're doing. So, with that being said, that's why I'm kind of like, um, I was on the fence. I, I, I was on the fence, you guys. I was on the fence about even creating this channel. But I was like, dude, you know what? Like, if I don't do this, I'm going to die wanting to have been, like, a YouTuber. And, you know... <laughs> YOLO eventually essentially so yeah oh my god I'm such a bad youtuber already so I've been meaning to, this is supposed to be like a in the get ready with me do they usually tell you sorry a notification do they usually tell you guys like what products they use I watch YouTube like almost every day and I watch many get ready with me but tell me why when I need it I can't seem to remember what the I'm doing so I'll probably list the description, the the products in the description or whatever. Right now I'm using Bretman Rocks Stop It Blush ColourPop. His collaboration with ColourPop is Fire One. I'm using this blush. I really really like it. I only just started using it. I had it for a while, but I was really into like um what was it Harmony by Mag and really into Risque by Tarte. But I started using this and I really like it. Like, it, it looks nice. It looks very, like, in, not innocent. It looks very, like, girl, you pop and look. So, now that my face is, for the most part, done, I'm going to use this Make It Last Milani setting spray. You know what? I have an oily face. So, I'm not, I have my AC right here. So, I'm just going to shove my face in here. So, I'm just going to shove... What was I saying? Where was I going with this, you guys? Um, one second. Um, 
oh when my face is wet i really like to add highlights so that it pops it gives it a little more mm, you know could be into that mm, kind of look and i usually do it with my finger you get way better pant when you do it with your finger of course i have like the tip of my nose the bridge of my nose my eyebrows chin my chinny chin chin and I actually go on with a little bit on my cheeks I wasn't a big you know the biggest fan of highlight on the cheeks but I am right now right now I am so I'm just gonna add highlight on So I'm going to let it dry off. Oh, the highlight that I used was the Anastasia Amrezy collab. Was it a collab? Yeah, it's a collab. The Amrezy highlight, you guys. It's really good. I really like it. When I'm really going for like a, like a, like a highlight, like a highlight highlight, I pack it on. I pile it on with this one. It's really nice here. Let me just, let me just do it. In person, it looks like. Damn girl, what you trying to be the beacon of light for the gods? Yep. I'm putting very little because I'm going to a meeting, you guys. I'm not trying to blind my bosses. <laughs> so that's why I'm being very sparing with this one. And I really hate how like it feels when I have lipstick on my lipstick. When I have foundation on my lips. Um uh, and I'm always taking it off, but I know that it like elongates the lipstick or whatever, so that's the only reason why I tolerate it. So once my face is dry from the setting spray, I kind of go over um, my highlight areas to soften it up. If you don't want to soften your highlight, don't do this. To soften it up with um, uh, my Morphe M501 brush. Um, this is the one that I would normally use if I were applying highlight directly from, from the pan, pot, pan directly from the pan onto my face so I'm just gonna really just go over just to soften the look because like I said I am not trying to blind my bosses today um, and then this is a really cool trick that I like to do to kind of give off the impression of a natural of a natural look of a natural looking makeup look I grab this tiny brush that I got at like some beauty store it's by Mystique and it's a professional GD-22 and it's a small angle brush. It's super, super tiny. I go ahead and I shake my micellar water up and then I get the little bit that's in this little, the little bit that's in this little thing. Twist it around. Picks up the product and I go ahead and I remove the makeup from, uh, hold on, I can't multitask. Closer so you guys can see what I'm doing because then y'all are gonna be like, What the fuck? So you can see how I have like a beauty mark, birthmark, mole, <laughs> whatever you guys call it. I have one right there. I usually go ahead and I remove the product from there. The product from what? From My name's Ashley and I can't talk sometimes. Of course. <laughs> um, I remove the products from there so that way it looks like a little more natural. It's more visible in person. I have a few more up on my forehead, but I don't want to look like I'm trying to play, you know, connect the dots. So I only do the biggest, more noticeable ones so that way it's like, oh, she's not completely trying to cover her face up. No. No, no. Sorry about my crusty looking nips. I'll put lipstick on them eventually. Oh, I do a little bit of um, bronzer in my crease because it just looks nice. And I've been using my Hula Benefit bronzer. I'm saying everything backwards today. I'm sorry, you guys. I really wasn't prepared. I like, I literally just came out of the shower and was like, 
let me film me getting ready. So, this is me filming myself getting ready. Um, and I'm very, like, messy with this just because I can be messy with it. And then, I actually... And then I put like a lighter color onto my lid so that the the part that I put bronzer on is more visible. So I grabbed this big packing brush. It's a Morphe E15 brush with my Morphe something palette, 35N palette. And then I go in with this shade up here. And then I just put it onto my lid. I know these aren't like the brushes like if I wanted to be really nice and neat with it I would be using a smaller one and yada 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 but girl I don't even know what time it is I still have to change try to do my hair so I don't have time to be really like precise and stuff um but like I said eventually I will do a video in which I do try to put in a little more effort and be precise you know what I mean you feel me fam Okay, so now what I'm doing is I don't have time to focus on the precision of doing a winged eyeliner. So, but your girl still wants that bling effect. So what I do, I grab a piece of tape. I grab a piece of tape and I put it on my corner. like so then I grab a flat angled brush thing going with some black and I just let this take care of the rest Well, that's really out there. Then when it looks really like just like cut, I put I drag down a little bit of the black remaining eyeliner into the bottom of my lash line so that it blends nicer. Like it doesn't look like just like somebody shanked me with the black. I don't know. You know what I mean. that's done now I go in to do my my eyebrows for that I'm going to use the dip brown pomade Anastasia obviously and the shade soft brown with the brush I'm supposed to be using it with and it's the Anastasia 7B Normally, normally when I have time and I'm cleaning one more effort, um, I would do this my eyebrows first or second. It's one of the first things that I do because it gives me room to um, it gives me room to like correct any mistakes that I do on my eyebrows. Does that make sense? Omg! I put on this headband. So that my little hairs don't get in the way. Yet they're flopping all over the place. So we're just gonna do that for right now. Sorry, I'm like in crunch time, that's why I'm not talking. Sorry, I'm in crunch time, that's why I'm not talking, but I'm probably gonna put on some music or something. I don't know, it'll be my first time editing, so we'll see how that goes.
And like I said, if you guys actually want to see how I in depth do my makeup, um, let me know, like comment or something, so that way I know that. I mean, I have people that I even want to see this. Um, and I'll do it for you. But like I said, this is just kind of like a like a get ready with me type thing uh, because. I'm rushing, I'm running late, I don't even know what time it is, I'm assuming I'm running late, that's what I tell myself so that way I like, snap myself up, you know what I mean? I'm going to try to do it as close as possible, possible. So you guys get an idea of how, you know what I be doing next eyebrow oh damn my damn pelos are flopping all over the place Because first of all, that is um, another expense I can't afford to be making. Second of all, I have no idea how to, to put on fake eyelashes. And third of all, I wouldn't even know where to buy them. This I do need to get in because I get asked this a lot by my friends and family and some, then some. So my favorite mascara to use is the, this one, right here. <laughs> it's the, the Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. Like, what's the regulation with music? I know that there's, like, copyright and stuff. And, like, you're only allowed to use, like, 10 seconds or something, I believe. But, like, can I sing? Because <laughs> music is my, is my thing. Music is my escape. Um, so, 
So yeah, I already asked you guys what I'm planning on doing with my um with what did I just say? I already asked you guys what you guys want to see on my channel. So this I'm just gonna do real quick because Save the maximum space. And for those of you that are already YouTubing, how is it like? How do you feel? Is it everything you ever imagined? Um, how are the constructive criticisms? Or just the criticisms? Because unfortunately we have a lot of hate nowadays. Oh, and that's another thing. Um, I I don't condone any like negativity or uh, any hateful, you know, anything that comes from hate or from a place of hate or from a place of like, you know, just assholeness. So I don't condone any of that. I won't tolerate it. I'll tolerate constructive criticism. So for example, if somebody says the angle on your camera is a little odd, you know, could you please fix it type thing? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I'm actually already waiting on something to fix it. Um, but yeah, things like that. Constructive criticism is always welcome. You know, for the sake of bettering the channel and bettering the, the content, for sure. But like, if you're just gonna be hateful, like go watch some like motivational videos like those are life changers no lie um when i curl my eyelashes i go like this and then i go like this and then i go like this that's only when they're wet so that way when they dry they dry up to that form that you're putting them in Alright you guys, so my, oh, I probably shouldn't face it to my vanity because it is a fucking mess and my bed is a maid. Oh my god, I need like some kind of stand place or something. Alright guys, so this is my final look. I didn't even finish my thoughts, huh? So basically, I'm not going to condone like any kind of negativity. Constructive criticism is always welcome and watch self-motivational videos and if you guys are feeling really negative, then make yourself feel really positive. Music works for me, but yeah. So anyway, welcome to my channel. I hope you really liked this video. I don't even know if it's going to be going up or if this is just like a tester for my editing skills. I'll probably make it both. I'll like test it to see how my editing is and then I'll upload it and then I'm sure you guys will let me know what I fucked up on. So I hope you enjoyed it. Have a wonderful, wonderful day and um, welcome. Bye.